better. State's latest COVID-19 data shows Georgia logged the second most number of deaths reported in one day, 105. This comes after the state broke the record for most deaths yesterday in a day. Overall death toll now nearly 4,500 people. In terms of cases, state gained more than 3,500 since yesterday's report for an overall total of about 226,000 since the pandemic started. City of Dublin says it is ready to enforce its new mask ordinance that was passed at an emergency city council meeting yesterday. Kayla Solomon has more on that ordinance. On Tuesday, Dublin City Council passed a mask mandate and City Manager Lance Jones says it goes into effect immediately. Mask wearing is, is pretty much the most minimal thing we could do. We did not want to shut down the economy, um, put onerous restrictions, just simply wear your mask. Just days after federal officials declared Dublin a red zone for COVID-19, Dublin City Manager Lance Jones says the council had to act fast. August the 1st, we were up to five deaths. Um, by August the 7th, we're up to 10 deaths. The city council approved the mask ordinance by a six to one vote. It says masks should be worn inside businesses or stores or while outside in a place where social distancing is not possible. Jones says the Dublin Police Department will enforce it first by giving a warning. After you've been told, given a mask to wear and you choose not to, then uh, there is a, a fine for a second offense of $25 and it, it you know, moves on up from there. In July, Governor Brian Kemp passed an executive order stating that local governments cannot enforce a mask mandate. Jones says because of this, they also passed a second ordinance. Question that the governor um, consider making the mask uh, statewide required or an alternative to make it clear that um, local governments do have the power when they're in a situation like ours um, to do that on their own. Jones says after the 45 days are up, City Council will then reevaluate and see if they need to extend it or not. In Dublin, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Yeah, Jones says people can find that ordinance on the City of Dublin's website or on its Facebook page.